Chris Minnis here. Thank you for choosing the Tahoe Show. This is your official Tahoe Show competitor meeting. We're going to go every through everything you need to know from A to Z, from uh, landing at the airport all the way to the moment you leave. We're going to make sure you're prepared, ready, and the whole experience is stress-free. Now, this does take the place of the in-person competitor meeting, so now you can watch this at your own leisure, uh, but please do watch the entire thing so you're fully prepared. All right, so some of the basics. We'll start right away with uh, everything taking place at Mont Blue Resort. So this includes a hotel, a check-ins, a tanning, makeup, arm wrestling, and of course a show. All is at Mont Blue Resort. Um, some questions regarding COVID. We do have a, uh, a mask mandate in Nevada. You must wear a mask in public places in Nevada. However, like all center podium shows, we will not be requiring you to wear a mask on stage. You will uh, wear that mask backstage right up on right up until you enter the stage where you're going to leave it on a sanitized table. Go do your thing. Go get your medals. Come on back. Put that mask back on. So that's how it's going to work. So you can still plan on having great makeup and uh, breathing easily while you uh, while you're doing your posing routines. All right. So we're going to start before you even arrive. Um, uh, I know that many of you are flying in, especially with uh, with some of the pros coming in from around the world. And you're likely going to be flying into our closest airport, which is the Reno International Airport. Now, you can rent a car and come on up to Tahoe. It's about a 75-minute drive. Or you can book the South Lake Tahoe Airporter, which leaves every about hour and a half or so from the airport and goes right up to South Lake Tahoe. Now, I'm going to give you a little bit of inside information. If you do take the South Lake Tahoe Airporter, get off at the Hard Rock casino stop. That's located directly across from Mont Blue. That's going to be one of the first stops and it's going to save you a half hour of just cruising around South Lake Tahoe. Now when you leave, then you leave from the Mont Blue and you're going to be last on the route and that's going to be the shortest ride too. So again, get off at the Hard Rock and that's going to save you about a half hour on that shuttle just across the street and you'll be at Mont Blue. All right. Um, now, if you are driving, uh, do note that there is some construction going on. They're doing a big project in the parking lot of Mont Blue, but fortunately, Mont Blue has many parking lots and a parking garage. So you can actually valet for free or you can park for free in the garage or uh, behind the garage. There's uh, open air parking. Okay, let's get into some details on tanning. Um, we have had some problems in the past with tanning, uh, and where it really comes from is, is tanning getting on things, on walls, on furniture, on toilet seats, um, and, uh, and also on the floors. So we want to be particularly careful about these things. Um, sometimes we have bootleg tanners, which can be a problem. Uh, bootleg tanners are people who, who kind of pretend they're the official tanner. Um, however, uh, you know, NPC competitors tan for free, so I don't expect there to be a lot of bootleggers at this one. Um, but, uh, but with that said, there's going to be no spraying or glazing allowed backstage except by the official tanner. Uh, basically this came from a, from an issue we had where glaze was, was left on the floor. You know, we, we normally protect the floors, but unofficial tanners don't and someone fell and hit their head. So we've had to get very strict with, uh, with this, um, and then also at all times, just be really considerate. And I'll talk more about this, but of, of where your tan ends up, um, all right, so you're likely, uh, you've likely confirmed your tan when you registered. Um, if not, uh, but what we need you to do is actually confirm your appointment. And you can confirm your appointment by going to martinispraytan.com slash events. Again, martinispraytan.com slash events. Go in there and confirm your appointment. I do know about 100 people haven't confirmed their appointments yet, so please make sure to do that. All right, so for uh, to have a really great tan, you want to kind of prep your skin. And, uh, and what you're going to do is really scrub your skin, starting probably right now from the time you're seeing this video. Scrub your entire body. That's going to get rid of any of this dead skin. And what's going to happen is your tan will absorb much better. Now, um, don't wear any, uh, any lotions or perfume or deodorant uh, prior to tanning. Uh, what's going to happen is the tan just won't take in that area, and you're going to see very clearly where you applied those products. 
Now, also, there are um, uh, products that you can use to help prep the skin. Since our tanners use a ProTan solution, uh, you should only use ProTan products to prep your skin to make sure that there isn't any uh, chemical issues that are going to uh, cause a, a, an issue with the color of the tan. Um, now, for some of you, I realize this might be your first time competing. So just so you know, the tanning experience may be a little bit of a surprise. Um, we do separate everybody by men and women. And, um, and then there's individual tents where the spraying actually happens. But you are fully naked when that takes place. So uh, now when, when that does happen, you won't be surprised. Um, all right. So again, I, I, I can't stress enough. Please help us protect the hotel. Please help us protect the venue. Um, you're going to always wear long sleeves and long pants when you're outside of the backstage area. So if you're in the audience or in the casino or in the hallways, you're always going to be covered up. Um, it, it's very common to kind of forget that you're leaning on a wall. Well, when you're tanned, when you leave on the wall, we see a print of you. So be really, uh, be very careful about those things. Also cover the toilet seats. We can always tell when a competitor has been, um, been in the toilet recently because we see a print of their butt right there on the, uh, on the seat. So make sure you cover that up uh, so we don't leave any butt prints. Um, same thing with furniture and also your hotel room. Um, definitely protect your hotel room. A lot of people will either sleep in, in long, loose clothing or they'll bring their own sheets. Um, but again, if you're staying in the sheets, if you're staying in the towels, toilets, you may end up with a charge and we don't want to see you have to pay for something like that. That's be much better spent on cheap meals. All right, so um, check-ins are pretty simple because this is your official competitor meeting. So check-ins tend to go a little bit faster. And what we now do is we break out the check-ins into time slots so you spend less time waiting. Um, again, check-ins take place at Mont Blue. They're going to be inside the showroom, the exact same place where you're going to be competing. Um, and the way it's going to lay out is 5 o'clock. That's going to be our men's bodybuilding, our classic physique, women's physique and fitness classes. At 5.30 is men's physique, and six o'clock is figure and wellness, and 6.30 is bikini, and then we close registration at seven o'clock p.m. Um, IFBB pros, your check-in is at 8 a.m. Sunday morning. Please make sure you're on time because that is a show day, and so we're gonna be uh, moving quickly that morning. So again, that's 8 a.m. on Sunday morning. Um, all this, if you need to refer to it, is on our website. So you can head over to the, the centerpodium.com slash Tahoe show anytime and see this schedule. Okay, some things to bring uh, to registration so that you're prepared. First, if you're an NPC competitor, bring your NPC card. And you can get this by going to npcregistration.com. Highly recommend you do this ahead of time, so it's going to save you a little bit of time. We can sell you one on site, but it is cash only. They do not take credit cards for that. However, we take credit cards for all other products. Um, guys, wear the trunks you're going to be competing in. When you're weighed in, you have to wear those trunks. Um, you're going to wear nothing else except your competition trunks. Uh, no socks, nothing along those lines. And again, um, you know, wearing long clothes and stuff before you come, and then you're going to strip down to the trunks, get weighed in. Um, Bring any food that you might need. You may be there for as long as 90 minutes. So bring your food, bring your water. Um, then music. So you should have gotten an email from Muscleware to submit your music online. Now, if you haven't done that, please go back, check that email and submit that music online. That's going to guarantee that your music's going to work and it's going to guarantee that we have it. Um, if you have, if you can't do that, uh, or don't get it done in time, you can bring it on a, on a, on a USB at check-ins. Now, if you bring it any time later than that, we can't promise that it's actually going to make it in time and you'll end up posing to house music. Um, and sometimes what happens is we'll get a USB and the music on it will be corrupt. And, uh, and, and of course, those are the guys who usually bring it in right before finals. So we didn't have a chance to, to even look at the music. They go to pose, no music, or we had to replace it with something else. So again, try to submit that online. That's the best case scenario. The next best case scenario is the USB at registration. All right. Uh, all right. Yeah, here's a weird little thing I just noticed. I added this to, to my meeting recently. Everybody is shorter than they think they are 
at registration. Um, and, and bro science has told me it's because of the water depletion. You're losing water in your discs and you might be a little shorter. I don't know if that's true, but everybody is shorter. So if you're on the edge, uh, you may want to be aware of that and we will allow you to try to lose a, a couple pounds. But you know, if you're seven pounds over, uh, you'll probably be switching divisions or, or have a, have a bad experience. So just do keep that in mind. If you're right on the edge, you're probably going to be a little shorter at check-ins. Okay. So when you get in, when you arrive, we're going to give you this muscle wear registration sheet. Uh, you're going to sign it and all of your classes are going to be there. Now, if you want to add classes, we can do that later. Um, you can purchase your NPC card there again, only with cash. But again, I, I recommend you do that ahead of time at npcregistration.com. All right. So once you have your register, your, your NPC card verified and your registration sheet, you're going to head into the showroom and you're just going to take a seat right there in the audience. You don't jump in line. No need to jump in line because we're going to call you. No need to be standing there for an hour, getting your legs all swollen. You just relax at the tables and we're going to bring you up when your time comes. Um, so again, I keep saying it, long pants, long sleeves, so we don't mess up the furniture. All right, so once your name gets called, we're going to bring you up and we're going to confirm all your purchases. This is a time when you can add more crossovers. Uh, you can add more, uh, photog you can add your photography, you can add uh, trainer's passes, things along those lines. Now, uh, to purchase a coach's pass, you must, the, the coach must have an NPC card or an IFBB Pro card. There's no exceptions to this rule. So again, if you have a coach coming, please buy that ahead of time. If not, we're gonna ask that you buy that back out front to get that NPC card. And that must be a current NPC card or a current IFBB Pro card. So an IFBB Pro card from 2019 or 2020 isn't gonna cut it. It has to be a current 2020 IFBB Pro card. That's actually a new rule uh, that wasn't allowed previously. Now do also, um, Make sure if you did pre-purchase a trainer's pass, a coach's pass, that you're picking that up at check-ins. Reason it needs to happen at check-ins is we need to be able to confirm that IFBB or NPC card. Uh, after that, there won't be an opportunity to pick up that trainer's pass. So please make sure to do that at check-ins. All right. Um, so from there, we coordinate your photos. Uh, and then you, we're going to have all kinds of Tahoe, uh, Tahoe Show and Center Podium gear, like this Tahoe Show hat right here. Um, you're going to get your uh, competitor bag. It has all kinds of good stuff like rain or, you know, like rain <laughs> and all kinds of good stuff like that. Now, one thing that we're doing uh, that's kind of cool, if you're thinking about competing in the NPC Legion in October, we are going to give you a free shirt or uh, a free Legion shirt or Legion apparel uh, should you show us that you have confirmed your registration for the Legion Sports Fest. Legion is going to be a great show. Uh we expect about 2,000 total athletes across nine sports, 200, um, 200 or so uh, vendors. Just going to be an awesome weekend. Some of the top pros in the world are going to be there. So, yeah, register for the Legion, and we'll hook you up with some free gear when you, when you come up to, to registration. Uh, moving into, so makeup. Uh, you probably pre-purchased makeup. Right now, makeup is closed. Those are sold out. Um, but you need to make sure that your, uh, your, your appointment is scheduled. And you can schedule your appointment if you haven't done so by checking your email. You would have received an email from foofoomakeup at gmail.com. If you don't find that and don't find it in your, in your spam, go ahead and email foofoomakeup at gmail.com and make sure you get that all dialed in. All right, so moving on to the photo product. Uh, photos are, um, obviously, we had stage photos from Marcella Rostagni. And, uh, and so these photo packages are high resolution photo packages, depending on, you know, the amount of stage time, the number of divisions and classes you did, uh, you're going to get quite a few, uh, you know, photos, especially if you're doing three, four crossovers, you're going to get a ton of photos. Uh, highly recommend getting these. It's important for judges feedback. You know, it's the best, it's really the best shape of your life. Um, it's great for portfolios, great for sponsorships. I personally wish that I had gotten photos at my last show. Um, I didn't, and I didn't know it was going to be my last show. I ended up uh, getting a major injury and, uh, and not able to compete again. So, uh, yeah, I do really highly recommend getting those. Now, it does, uh, those are two-week turnarounds, so um, it'll be a, a two weeks or less from the Monday after the show. So do uh, set your expectations for, for about two weeks. Uh, tanning, again, uh, that's going to take place 
backstage at the uh, Mont Blue showroom. So you can still book that online. Uh, you still book your scheduling on time, like I mentioned earlier. Uh, I'm sorry, online, as I mentioned earlier. And uh, that's going to take place backstage at the Mont Blue showroom. Uh, then your coaches passes, I mentioned a little bit of details on that, but um, they, they, uh, the standard coaches pass will give you full backstage access, does not include a ticket. So if you need a ticket, that's going to be an additional price. Um, we do have the premier coaches passes, which are $250, and that includes both the pass and the VIP ticket. Uh, so you're right up front and you have the backstage access. And, uh, and, and one coaches pass is good for both days of this event, both Saturday and Sunday. Um, another product that you can get is, uh, is crossovers. I mentioned this a little bit earlier. You can add this at check-ins. Again, something I highly recommend. One of the big reasons, and there's two big reasons. Um, one is sometimes you don't know exactly where your body's going to fit. So say you're, you're, you're bikini, um, you're bikini, between bikini and wellness, and you're not kind of sure where that's going to be. You can do both, stay after, Get feedback from Sandy Williamson, our head judge, and she'll let you know where she thinks that you're going to fit best. But the big thing that I, I like about crossovers is you get the chance to compete over and over again. You work this hard, 12 weeks, 16 weeks, however long it was a prep, get your money's worth out of that prep. Get on stage as much as you can. Now, what happens so often is you'll go out there and you can make a mistake. You'll forget something. You'll mess up your posing. You were shaking. You're nervous. You get off stage and you wish you could have a do-over. Well, when you've done multiple classes, you can do a do-over. And by the second or third, you're gonna you're going out there and you're feeling really comfortable. And uh, and again, our, our head judge Sandy Williamson has, has said this many times where she's seen people move up in placing as they've competed throughout the show. And what happened was they did their first class, screwed it all up. You know, forgot to hold in their stomach, messed up their poses. Uh, maybe they were flat. Maybe they needed to eat some carbs. They get off stage, their coach or whatever, they, they think about it, they figure it out, eat some carbs, go out there with more confidence, less nerves, and actually move up in placing. And now you're moving up in placing in the important classes. You know, you, you did novice or true novice or masters. That's great. But that's the place to really get the nerves out. When you get in that open and you're looking at an overall and a national qualification and all that, um, that's when you want to come out your best. So I highly recommend doing as many classes as you can possibly, uh, as, you, as you really qualify for and, and really get that stage time. Also more photos when you do uh, more crossovers. All right. So moving on to show day. So if you booked your makeup, you're going to begin there very early. We start doing makeup at 6.30 a.m. I'm sorry, 6 o'clock a.m. And that also takes place backstage at the showroom. Now, when you go backstage, you're going to see a set of stairs. Uh, if you're in the audience, it's going to be to your right. Uh, we have green rooms at the top of those stairs. So head up those stairs. And that's where the makeup is going to be taking place. And we're going to have signs along the way to help you find exactly where those locations are. Um, final coats of tanning are also going to take place backstage at the Mont Blue showroom. And the, ta the tanners will be there all the way till the last competitor crosses the stage to be there for any touch-ups that you might need. And of course, glazing. Um, all right. So, uh, this is a two day show. Just a reminder. It's a two day show. <laughs> and some people are still surprised by that, but it's a two day show. And, um, and so we have all the women's, all the NPC women on Saturday and all the NPC men and IPP pro classes on Sunday. Now you can, um, you can watch the show from the audience on the day you competed. Uh, so if you wanted to come to say you compete on Saturday, you want to come Sunday, then you would need a ticket for that. We do expect this to sell out. And, and that's really the main reason for this is every seat is going to be taken. Um, all right. So. Saturday, 9 a.m., doors open for prejudging. Again, I'm talking about all of the NPC women's divisions. Saturday, doors at 9, show starts at 9.30. That's prejudging starts at 9.30. Then 4 o'clock in the afternoon is doors for finals, and 4.30 is your uh, is, is the start of the show. Sunday, again, all men's divisions and IFBB Pro Bikini and IFBB Pro Wellness classes. So doors, uh, uh, I'm sorry, not doors, Women and IPB Pro League women, 8 a.m. That's your check-in. So be at the showroom at 8 a.m. Uh, on Sunday morning. Doors are going to be 9 o'clock a.m. And pre-judging begins at 9.30 a.m. 
IFBB Pro Wellness, you're going to be on stage at 10.15. Of course, Masters is first, followed by Open. IFBB Pro Bikini, you'll be on stage at 11.30. Same thing, Masters are first, and then Open follows that uh, right away. All right, so doors for finals on Sunday is 3 o'clock, and uh, finals begin at 3.30. Uh, IFBB Pro Wellness, you'll be on stage at 4.30 sharp. IPB Pro uh, Bikini, you're going to be on stage at 6 o'clock sharp. Um, and again, okay, so you can see the detailed list and order of the classes on our website. You can go back there anytime. All right, we're going to get into tickets a little bit. Uh, if you purchase a VIP ticket, uh, all you have to do is go to the VIP podium at uh, the front of the showroom. Um, from there, get your name, get your wristband, head on in. Uh, now, if you... Uh, all of the Saturday tickets are sold out. We do have some Sunday tickets left over still. Now you can purchase tickets, regular tickets uh, on site, but I highly recommend getting them ahead of time online. In the past, we've seen a lot of last minute people and a very, very long line. And sometimes that means they, you know, people wait in line and they miss seeing their athletes. So I highly recommend getting those tickets early and that's going to help ensure that you get the best seating as well because some of those best seats are, are already gone so definitely jump on that um, and again competitors get free access on the day they compete now the show will be live streamed uh, it takes place uh, that'll be live stream at tv.centerpodium.com it's an hd live stream uh, you can download our app the center podium tv app you can watch it on roku and uh, that price again is 29.95 and uh, that's going to cover both days of the show. So that twenty nine ninety five is going to get you both the Saturday and the Sunday show. And then uh, after the show, uh, a few days later, we have that in our center in the center podium TV, so you can rewatch the show in the future. All right. So some things to bring uh, in the future, uh, and some things to bring backstage. Just some 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 tips. Uh, so your gym bag, of course. Uh, bring a towel. Uh, bring a razor, water. I like to bring also some sugar in case your blood sugar is dropping. Uh, bring some food. Bring some pump up bands. We will have pump up bands, uh, but you know, make sure you bring some of your own just in case uh, those are all in use. I recommend bringing some layers. Uh, sometimes you can get cold. Sometimes you can get hot. You know, your body's going through a lot while you're there. So, so definitely layer up. Comfortable shoes. Uh, I see a lot of girls, they come in their heels and then afterwards they forgot to bring their shoes. So th that's why I say that. Flip flops. And um, if you feel like it, bring a small pad for, for sitting down. A lot of people just like sit on the floor with their legs up and a little, little pad's going to help you out. All right. So the flow of the event. You, so this is actually what's happening, the blocking that is taking place on the stage. So you will enter through. So to get there first, you enter through the main door of the showroom. Um, you're going to walk through the audience, you're going to head towards the right, and that's your backstage door. That's going to get you there. Um, now, one thing uh, that's really important is paying attention to the actual flow of the show. What classes are on stage at any given time? I always say there's going to be two people who miss their class. Don't miss a class. So my advice is to look at the class that is five ahead of yours. You know, so if you're in uh, a classic physique, you're going to actually be keeping an eye on the figure classes because you want to be on stage. And the ideal situation is to not have to have a competitor or our expediter look for you, be calling your name, be calling your number. You should actually be there already. It's actually it's it's not a good thing if they have to go looking for you. You should be ready and at the side of the stage when your class is, is actually lining up. So please keep that in mind. And that's really going to help. Is it, if you miss your class, there's no redos. There's no rejudging. There's, there's no going back in time here. We all have the schedule. We all know the order of events. We have it live streamed. So you got to be there and you got to be responsible for yourself to be in the right place at the right time. Yes, we'll go looking for you the best we can. But time and time again, people are not where they're supposed to be and they get missed. The show is not going to be held up. And, um, and then there, there won't be any refunds either. So please be there. It's heartbreaking to see somebody miss their class. So please be super on point. Um, all right. So we're going to move into the, uh, the actual posing part. Uh, I'm going to start with NPC posing. Now, everyone is going to pose. Uh, presentations happen only once at prejudging and only once at finals. And what that means is if you've crossed over, you're not going to go out and do that routine over and over again, over and again. You do it once in prejudging, once in finals. 
All right, so I'm going to start with how prejudging looks for bikini, figure, wellness, and men's physique. Um, one thing Sandy always says, our head judge, is the more time you spend on stage, the more time she has to find your flaws. When she's judging, she's not going to look at what beautiful shoulders you have so much as she's looking for what is off, why maybe your back's not thick enough. So, so go out there, show her your best assets, and get out of there. So what we recommend when you go out there, you two poses, hit your two best and come on off. So the way it's going to work is we're going to bring you out to the diagonal on the stage. Everybody's going to line up at that diagonal at pre-judging. And then Sandy's going to call you out one at a time. You'll walk from that diagonal to the center box. Again, you're going to hit your two best poses and you're going to walk off. Once she's through all that, she's going to bring everybody out to the line and do comparisons. After that, there's going to be your first call out where she's going to start moving people around and really start to compare where placing is going to happen. And you can kind of start to see, you know, pretty quickly from the audience where most people are going to land within a, you know, first second, within a couple points, essentially, because uh, this is when the really the hardcore judging is taking place. Uh, once that wraps up, uh, she's going to say thank you and you'll head off the stage. Now, of course, if you did a crossover, don't forget to not go very far because you're going to be back on stage very quickly. Um, oh, yeah. One little little piece of advice is, oh, yeah, yeah I know everybody has. So you're going to enter from uh, stage left. So, uh, yeah, you're going to enter from stage left. And, um, and one other piece of advice was keep it tight. Remember, they're judging you the moment you've walked on stage. They have a really short window to judge you. So the moment you walk on stage, they're already looking. They're, they're trying to make their assessments right away so they can make them as quickly as possible. Uh, fitness. Remember, you don't do anything at prejudging. You only show up at finals. The NPC uh, fitness only requires the routine. Now we're getting to bodybuilding, classic, and women's physique. Again, entering from stage left, and that is competitors left. So when you're on the stage looking out, you're entering from competitors left. Um, you won't be doing any posing, you know, posing routines in the morning. You'll just come out to the uh, judging line, and you're going to run through all your mandatory poses. Again, first call it. They're going to move you all around. And, uh, and then once you complete, you leave the stage. And again, if you're doing a crossover, don't go very far because you get to do it again. All right. Um, all right, we'll get into finals. So finals for fitness. Uh, fitness is going to go first. You're going to perform your routine. And then they're going to um, be judging uh, after the routine. And, um, and then they'll have their final scores, which will then be presented after figure is complete uh, a few minutes into the show. All right, so finals for final posing for bikini, figure, men's physique, and wellness. So again, entering from stage right, competitors right. You are going to walk from off stage right to that center box. You're going to hit a couple of your best shots and head off stage. You're going to hear the uh, MC. He's going to announce your name and you're going to hit your two best shots. If you're out there for too long, he's going to say something along the lines of thank you and call the next person. You know, don't be that person where you're out there for too long, um, you know, and causing a traffic jam. Hit your two, three tops, best poses, and then move off stage. So after everybody's gone and posed, then our expediters will bring the top five people to the diagonal. And this time the MC is going to call the placement fifth through first. Um, so once, uh, once these have been announced, the, uh, the, the, the uh, trophy girls will bring out the trophies, the medals. Uh, I think I got one or there's my, the medals. <laughs> and, uh, you're going to take uh, your pictures with the photographer. The photographer is going to give the thumbs up. You're going to be good. Now, if you're in an open class or a class that has an overall, make sure you, and you won, make sure you don't go very far because you're going to have to go back on stage to be live judged for the overall, which I'll get into in a little bit. Um, now, going into finals for bodybuilding, classic physique, and women's physique, you are going to do something similar, except now you have your full routine. It's going to be up to 60 seconds. You go out. Um, you're going to have the music that's been assigned for you. You do your posing and walk off stage. Now, again, the top five is going to be brought to the diagonal. And at this time, the MC is going to call fifth through first. Again, if you got first and a classic gets an overall, then you will um, you'll not go very far. So you can then compete in that overall. All right. And this will bring me into um, IFBB Pro pre-judging and finals. 
it's, it's going to go exactly as it does pretty much every pro show. Uh, here you're going to enter from stage right. You're going to walk to the box. Uh, you're going to do your T-walk, excuse me, to the box and, uh, and then walk off stage. And uh, once that's complete, then we're going to bring everybody out on stage. We're going to do the judging. I'm going to have you guys pose both in the morning and in the evening. So you'll do your full routine both in the morning and the evening. Now, once everyone is posed and everyone will pose in the evening, um, you're going to walk off stage and our expediters will bring out the top five for the awards. Okay, so uh, overalls. What happens with overalls, it's the first place in any division that is an open division or has multiple height or weight classes. What we don't have is overalls with, um, you know, say like Masters 35 and Masters 45. Only if those classes have height classes are we going to be height or weight classes are we going to um, have an overall. And, and you can see what classes actually have an overall when you look at our schedule on our website. So, uh, again, what happens at the overall? Now we're going to bring you out to the, the front judging line. The judges are going to do their comparisons and then have you walk to the diagonal. Uh, we're going to do a little bit of a pose down, of course, and we like to do a little pose down with all of the divisions. It's a lot of fun. Um, as the, uh, as the judges are judging. So then you'll walk to that diagonal, as I mentioned earlier, the uh, MC will be given the results and he'll call that first place. Uh, once the first place is called, everyone else walks off stage and then uh, you're going to do your pictures. The overall winner is going to do their pictures and uh, you're going to do a, uh, a quick interview with our MC. Now, um, overalls, we do some stuff for you, uh, you're going to all, everybody, all, every open overall is going to participate in our IFBB, I'm sorry, in our, uh, in our photo shoot that takes place at Zephyr Cove Resort. Uh, to find the spot, you're going to go to Zephyr Cove and facing the lake, you're going to go all the way down to the right, down towards the rocks, and that's where you're going to find our photographer. Uh, that's Zephyr Cove Resort at 1.30 p.m. Um, that's going to be 1.30 p.m. on Monday. Hope you guys can make it. These are some of our most publicized pictures, definitely on some of our most epic pictures. So uh, yeah, I hope uh, if you plan to get that overall that you plan to stay a little bit later on Monday, enjoy the lake and, uh, and get in a fun sh photo shoot. Now, top five from IPB Pro Open Wellness and IPB Pro Open Bikini and first place wellness and first place uh, NPC Bikini. You are going to do a video shoot on the lake with boats. Uh, we've got an epic shoot planned, uh, drones, we've got underwater cameras, um, photographers, all kinds of really cool stuff. Uh, it's sponsored by Tahoe Lake Love. Um, it's their boats. They bring us out. And actually, the owner is a, a figure wellness competitor herself. So it's, it's going to be a really exciting time. Uh, we are going to meet at the Mont Blue Valet at 7.30 a.m., we're going to have some cars for you. We're going to drive over to Camp Rich, which is uh, where the boat is going to meet us, and uh, head out onto the lake. And the boats have limited capacity, so please don't bring uh, friends or partners on this one. Uh, but they're welcome to come to, um, to Camp Rich and hang out uh, while you guys are out on the boat doing the shoot. Uh, so, yeah, I hope you can be there for that. That's going to be a really just fantastic set of footage. Uh, maybe the, the best footage you, you'll ever you'll ever have. Um, you know, we've spared no expense to make this really, really cool for you guys. Uh, oh, yeah. And also, I almost forgot, Battleborn Bikinis is giving everybody a custom Tahoe show posing bikinis as well. So you're all going to match beautifully in these shoots. All right, moving on to vendors. We have a ton of vendors. And that reminds me, um, every competitor bag, well, check your competitor bag thoroughly because Wolfpack Bags is going to put a coin inside of the bag. And, uh, and that coin is going to get you a free Wolfpack bag. So keep an eye out for that. They're one of our many. We have, a, I think, 20 or 25 vendors. They're going to be inside the showroom. Please stop by and visit them. Um, they're, they're a big reason we're able to do a lot of these really fun things that we do. Um, our title sponsor is California Alternative Meds. Also talk to those guys. They are they're awesome. They understand bodybuilders' needs when it comes to hormone therapy. Uh, so definitely talk to those guys. They're going to help you out a ton for their future, for recovery, uh, for prepping for your next show, and really making sure your levels are, at a, are, are really healthy. So uh, definitely check those guys out. You can also get deals from these guys by going to our website, centerpodium.com slash bodybuilding slash promo dash code. Um, we are going to, I'll have that link right below me there at centerpodium.com bodybuilding dash promo dash code. 
Then, moving on, we have two shows left for this year. We have the Legion Sports Fest I mentioned earlier, October 22nd through the 24th. Like I said, lots and lots of uh, sports, lots and lots of athletes, lots and lots of vendors, all kinds of stuff and action going on. Celebrities, all all the good things. Uh, Following that, on uh, November 13th, we have the NPC Nevada State Open in Albuquerque, New Mexico. Uh, we do have a number of overseas uh, events, and right now with COVID, everything's kind of up in the air, so we're really working on our 2022 calendar. We plan on having uh, six um, overseas events, two pro qualifiers, so uh, keep an eye on our website for more information for that. Um, well, guys, I want to thank you. I appreciate you choosing the Tahoe Show. Uh, we're going to have a blast. We look forward to it. I, I hate to pick a favorite, but it is my favorite show, and uh, it's just always such a blast. So, again, thank you for being there, and we really uh, we hope you have a great time. Take care. Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, bodybuilding fans of all ages, welcome to the Legion. Wait till next year. I tell you what, you want to see something? There'll be 20,000 people through here next year. Because everybody here is a little bit of a comic book. We got CrossFit, powerlifting, bodybuilding, um, just great physiques. It's not just a bodybuilding and fitness. It's, it's an athletic event, you know, it's really, like, it's a sports fest. I've been enjoying this entire expo. It's freaking awesome. A lot of good companies here today. It is the old school mentality again. It's that everybody helping everybody mentality. It was a great show, great competitors, amazing venue. I mean, that theater was beautiful. I really like how they cater to the athletes and very inviting for all the fans to come in. This is Rockstar. He's happy to be here. Amazing show. I look forward to more to come.